Now our next activity is called propeller stations. And in this activity, all we want you to do is play with propellers. So you'll break up into your three groups and you'll move around from station to station. And at each station, you'll have a different type of propeller. Now when you're at that station, we want you to play with that particular propeller and just do some observation. So I want you to observe what's going on with the propeller and then when you move to the different stations, start to think about what's different between each propeller type. And after you go through this activity, we'll get back together in the next video and talk about some of the things that you've observed. So let's talk about the propellers that we have, all right? We got three different types here. So this one here is what we call the simple propeller. And really it's just a handle and then a propeller head right here. Okay, and then you use your hand to twist it and give it a good twist and it'll start to take off and you'll, you'll like that one. So be careful not to hit yourself in the face. Secondly, we have what we call the push propeller. So you have this rod here with the tab at the bottom. Then you have a slider. You just put that on like that. And then finally you put the little propeller on and you'll see it just kind of goes down by itself. And to get this to fly, you actually just push this up, okay? But you wanna really give it a good push to uh, send it into the air. And finally, we have this last one here, which we call the rib cord. Now all you do is take the handle and the big propeller top and you connect them here at the top. And to get this to fly, you actually just pull this rib cord here, okay? So give it a good pull. It's like an old style lawnmower. <laughs> so just give it a good pull, rip it, and then you'll see the propeller take off, all right? And so those are the three propeller types that we'll use for the propeller stations. Now remember, the goal of the propeller station activity is to observe the differences between the flight of all three different propellers, okay? So make sure you're paying attention to the mode of activation. So how does it fly? How do you get it to fly? And based on that, how high do they fly? And what were the differences, okay? So, and after you go to each station, remember about five minutes per group at each station, we'll come back and I'll see you in the next video where we'll have a good discussion about the differences between the propellers.